What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash, back with another video. And today I just wanted to do a quick look around um, at what you can do on the unboxing video that I just did for the Nebula capsule that's made by Anchor. So this is that tiny little projector all in one package that um, kind of has smart apps and stuff. So we're just gonna take a look around so you can kind of see what you're getting into if you are interested in this. So. First off, right off the bat, if you can hear that, I'll be quiet for a second. There's a slight fan noise. Um, so if you are in a smaller room or it's pretty close, you can hear it. Um, but as long as you know the, the volume is up a little bit high for what you are watching, then you should be fine. So a look around at the menu. This is a modified version of Android. So it is a little bit different than probably anything that you've seen before. But apparently, like I mentioned in the last video, you can actually um, get this unlocked through Anchor in some way. I haven't done that yet, but it's supposed to give you full access to the App Store. So at the top up here, you see HDMI plugin, and I'm using this remote control to do this. Um, it's a little bit dark in here, obviously, so that we can see what we need to see. Um, so you have HDMI control, a file manager, so if you plug anything into this or put it on there directly, you can access video through that. An app manager, we all know what that is, just to control, change, take off um, apps that are already on there. Network is your Wi-Fi information. Settings, so if we look in the settings, you can see there's network, Bluetooth. Projector settings have some um, <clears throat> image modes, color temperature, things like that, so ways that you can sort of change the picture if you want to, based on the environment you're in. App Manager is also in there. Under General, we have there's language settings, things like that, and then you can do a sleep um, function where you can have it shut off at a certain time. You can make the keypad stop making noises, so every time I, every time I click this, it makes a sound. Um, you can clear the cache, and then you can do screen mirroring too, so you can actually mirror Android and uh, iPhone devices to this. I have seen some reviews where people were sort of annoyed at the screen mirroring, saying it's hit or miss, um, but for the most part, people seem to say that it works pretty well. And you can kind of see that line running through the video. That's just because we're filming the video. That's, that's not actually on my screen when I look at it with my actual eyes. So, um, And you can see too, hopefully on here, this has a back button, a home button, like a hamburger style menu button. The mouse button is really cool. If we press that, it turns the cursor into a mouse so you can actually scroll around just like you would on like a computer so that if you need to be super accurate and it's not working that's one option you can do uh, you just press it again to shut that off and then you can go back to just the scrolling menu this has an ir blaster in it and the back of the device does too so you do have to point it right at it it's not like a wi-fi remote or anything like that so we'll go back Nebula Connect is like an app and an account, so I'll actually show you the app too. It's really cool, actually. You can control everything you would need through there. Um, so you can actually pop up like a keyboard to type if you don't want to click one by one, and then this is a scroll method um, up and down, and you can use two fingers to actually scroll through something like a Netflix menu. So it's really cool that you have the option to use an app or to use the remote. So we'll hit OK to get out of there. There's an upgrade button, which is just for software updates, and then the About section will have your Android version, which is 7.1.2, um, available storage. So there's eight gigs of storage on this, and then there is one gig of RAM on this too. So they do. it does take up a little bit of space. Um, you see we're almost halfway full, and I don't really even have anything running right now, so keep that in mind. Um, then there is a recovery option. In the recovery, you can do a recovery and completely reset the device from like your signed in accounts and things like that. So we'll go back out of that now. Um, and then you can just download pre suggested apps, I guess. So there's Amazon, YouTube, and Netflix. And then you can go to these, this app store here. And you can see up in the top right here, App Toyed TV. So that's like their own version of like an app store, I guess. Um, it's kind of like versions of all this stuff is, is pretty much Android TV apps. 
or something you'd find on your phone. So you have things like Spotify, Plex, Amazon Instant Video, TED Talks, Kodi is on here. There's a lot of stuff, but um, you're definitely missing a good bulk that that unlock for the App Store would help with. So if we back out of there, I loaded a couple of things just so we could see how they work. So if I go into YouTube, and then we can, I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I guess we won't really. So this actually is a good point to show. So you can go, it says you can do speech. Now I'm stuck in this, see? Back button, just like Android. Okay, you can do speech, speech to search. I think that might be deactivated. There's nothing on this remote that would let me speak to it directly. So let me, let me use the mobile app really quick and just pull up one of my own videos. So just typing that in on here got me directly to there without having to do much. And now I'm just going to keep using the phone so you can see it's a cursor. I'm just going to click on my channel. And then I'm going to just, I'll just go to that last one so you can kind of hear some of it hopefully. Loads pretty fast. Guys, so this is at a pretty a pretty good uh, set of volume an unboxing of this. but I'm not even full volume there it gets pretty loud so it sounds pretty good um, but really cool stuff this actually will go up to a hundred inches in size total um, and it will hold a, a pretty good charge it does about three and a half four hours on normal settings at max brightness I think it says it's like around an hour and a half or two hours and then there's like a battery saving mode that does around four hours still not really exactly sure why it's about the same as the regular mode but that's what it told me when i looked at that so um the other thing is this is a bluetooth speaker so there's a button on top of here um, and i won't get into that because everybody kind of knows how bluetooth speakers work but if you press and hold the option on top of the device you can actually turn this into a bluetooth speaker so what it does is it shuts off the projector settings and it just turns the speaker in this into a speaker for your phone or whatever you have connected to it so um, there is this scroll wheel on the side too that can focus everything so when you're getting upwards of 100 inches right now we're at a really small small amount you can see by my hand um, it's tiny and I just have it on some pieces of paper so we could see it better but I think that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you guys like a rundown of how this works in case some of you were interested um, because like I said I haven't seen a ton on this device but I think it's worth covering because I think it's pretty neat so um, if you have any questions you can leave them down below but as for now, I think that that about does it for me. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.